Hey, what's up guys? Today I stumbled across a really cool feature in Premiere Pro and I wanted to show you guys. So let's check it out. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tyler Kidd. I am a YouTuber, a freelance videographer, and a musician on the side for fun. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. So today I was stumbling around in Premiere Pro and I was looking for a cool motion graphic or a template or something like that. So what I did is I scrolled over to the Adobe Stock section in the Essential Graphics panel. And in the Adobe Stock section, I didn't have much hope for what was there. I didn't think it would be accessible to me, but turns out, there's actually some stuff there that I was able to use and that you guys can probably use too. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you guys some of the motion graphic templates that they have. All right guys, so we're in Premiere Pro and I just got a basic edit going here. And so normally you would be in the editing tab, the editing workspace, but I'm gonna click on the graphics panel and I have some templates in there that I've already made if I click my stars. You can see the templates that I've made or that I've gathered from Storyblocks. I've downloaded a bunch of motion graphic templates from there. I've taken them from After Effects and converted them into motion graphic templates for Premiere Pro. If you guys want to see a tutorial on that, check the card up there. And yeah, for this video, this is a little bit easier. So I stumbled across this trick. Instead of looking at my templates and stuff, I checked the Adobe Stock section. So I searched for Square and I tried to drag this guy in there. So that didn't work. So what I did instead is clicked the free option and it gave me one that I kind of liked. So I put that in there and then it, you can change it up just like any other motion graphic. So I thought that was really cool that Adobe Stock has some free options for you too. So for example, another one I was looking at was I needed like a swipe up thing for Instagram. A client was asking me for a swipe up button on Instagram. So I didn't really want to make that. So I searched for it, swipe up, and it has a cool one right there. So I just use that, put that in there, and I can go in and edit all of this stuff. So it's really wide. So I'm gonna bring the kerning down and then maybe make the text bigger. And then, yeah. So it's super easy, just like any other motion graphic template, but I wasn't aware that the Adobe stock section had some free options in there. So, Let's, let's see what else they got in there. Do they have like a thumbs up? So yeah, they got a thumbs up there. They got a couple thumbs up. Let's see what they got for subscribe. Yeah, they got tons of little motion graphics for subscribe and stuff like that. So I know some of these are kind of cheesy and you should typically kind of create these things on your own just to be more professional in After Effects. But a lot of us like me don't have the time or the patience or the skill really. So these motion graphic templates are really awesome. You can change the font to the font that you want, make it your branding and it's really cool. All right, guys, thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. I hope you learned something. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and check out some more videos that I have on my channel. So, yeah. Have a great day, you guys. Later.